emperor is the new Fujin. People who were Fujin in Tekken 7, they're now boosted to emperor because anyone can get a higher rank in Tekken 8. What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I'm now recording a video freestyle here. I wanted to talk about uh, something. I I've wanted to record a video on this for a while, but it's so perfect. Someone here, Mr. Vinchik in the chat, if I may quote you, my friend, he said, Does it seem that the average skill of the players has become higher with the release of Tekken 8? Perhaps because of a breath of fresh air and increased interest in the game. So, this is interesting because is the level of play higher now or is it lower than during Tekken 7 or peak Tekken 7? And this is where a lot of people, it seems, on Tekken Reddit believe there's a rankflation. A rank inflation. And as notable uh, US top players said on Twitter, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he said that Emperor is the new Fujin. People who were Fujin in Tekken 7 they're now boosted to Emperor because anyone can get a higher rank in, uh, in Tekken 8. And as someone who plays about 6 hours of ranked every single fucking day, yeah, that's true, feel, feel very bad about my existence, thank you very much. But as someone who has a lot of experience when it comes to this, I don't know if there are, there exists a lot of people who are still fucking breathing, who, are more, who have more experience than I have here, so my, I would say my anecdotal experience speaks a lot here uh, the level of play is higher in Tekken 8 and there's no fucking rankflation to be seen I would even talk about a rank deflation because I know plenty of people who are very good at this game who had a significantly higher rank in Tekken 7 than they have right now I had a super tough time reaching uh, God of Destruction with Kazuya, but that's also due to the nature of the balancing of a game, where Kazuya is at, and where the S tiers are at in this game, because everyone is fucking tier whoring. Them and their boyfriend, they both tier whore. Uh, so we can talk about balancing, but uh, I can also tell you about how in Tekken 7, I could get any character in the game to Tekken God rank. Any character in the game, and I could do it in a few hours. Yoshi, it took me, what, four hours, five hours? Katarina in a second. Any character, pretty much. Do I think I can do this in Tekken 8? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm, I almost pulled my fucking hair out getting Brian to Tekken God. It was so difficult. But I can also tell you that we had a lot of people playing online during the first two months. But since then, for many reasons, there's been a player decrease. This also happens organically with these types of games. It happened in Tekken 7 as well. We know how successful Tekken 7 was, but also with a, within a few months, player base shrunk pretty fucking dramatically. And with that, I am now observing in rank that the people who two months ago, strong fucking players, competitive players, they had Tekken God rank? They've now been demoted sometimes as far back as to like Bussin. People have been demoted rather than promoted. Do you know why? Because as the player base shrinks, who do you think stays? Do you think it's the casuals who are like, eh, story mode was pretty cool. <laughs> and then I went to practice mode and I learned a few electrics. They're not still here. They're now playing Super Smash Bros. Well, probably not. They're probably playing some cool AAA game that's just dropped. Um, they're not still here. The people who stick around are people like me, who live and breathe Tekken, and who are ultra motherfucking sweaty. Ultra fucking sweaty. Those are the people who stay. So now, those of you, you you'll soon this, see this very soon. Like, they have introduced prowess matchmaking, but what you are going to see more and more, those of you who have reached Fujin, is that you're going to get matched up with people like me, who have God of Destruction. Or people who have Tekken God rank, and who are playing sub-characters. Because this game has built-in smurfing. 
because there's no such thing as an account rank. If you've hit God of Destruction, the rest of your characters will be Fujin, which is, I mean, it's still a high rank, but it's significantly lower than God of Destruction. So when I play Kuma or I play any of these other characters, granted there is prowess matchmaking, so the game will try and match me up against someone similar who has a high rank but who's playing a sub-character. But quite often as well, the game will slip in some poor motherfucker who's actually a legit Fujin. And he's trying to rank up to Raijin. He's like, oh man, today I can feel it. I'm doing good. S -s 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 I practiced. I I'm feeling good about myself today. Oh, here's God of Destruction main man who has 30 years of experience and who's playing a sub-character. <laughs> it's, like, it's horribly unfair, but it's in the game. And as the player base is shrinking, you will see more and more of this. Because all the people who are remotely casual, they're ho hopefully not, but many of them are going to start dropping the game. So you'll see more and more of this. So I'm just saying, rank is becoming harder. It's, it's not becoming floppier, right? It's becoming harder, right? It's becoming harder. That's the direction you're going in. So there's not a rank... Inflation. There's a deflation in ranks happening. That's what I'm observing online. That's what I'm observing. It's not an inflation in ranks. It's a deflation. It's getting worse. Um, and again, like, uh, I can only say that my experience is more difficult. It's harder achieving a Tekken God rank in this game than it was in Tekken 7. And uh, all of these other players I know, uh, very strong players, who had very high ranks in... Uh, many of my friends who had high ranks in Tekken 7, they can't achieve that in Tekken 8. Not yet, at least. Well, we'll see how this, how this goes, if it becomes harder or easier with time, or if they change the rank system, or, or if they do a rank reset, or whatever happens, but... Uh, a lot of people are really, really struggling. So this whole thing saying, like... Emperor, er, Fujin is the new Emperor, absolutely not. And anyone I see online who has reached, say, say Tekken King, to me it's the equivalent of like Tekken God Prime in Tekken 7. The level is just that high. It's that high. And, and again, most of those guys were Tekken God Prime in, in Tekken 7. So, uh, yeah. But that's, that's my opinion on this. That's what I've observed. And then we could also start talking about the, the statistics, which I think also um, uh, cor corroborate. What's the word? Corroborate what I'm just saying. Because we have a hard date on this. More people had uh, Tekken God rank in Tekken 7 than we do in Tekken 8. But Tekken, Tekken 8 is also only four months old, five months old, so... We'll see how it goes with time, but uh, this whole thing with everyone saying uh, there's a rank inflation, I see nothing that points to that direction. In fact, everything seems to point in the opposite direction. A and I also want to say that if you've reached uh, Fujin in this game, like really, really well done. It's very tough hitting that rank, so well done. And uh, as I said in another video, if you've hit Tekken King, you should be like, unbelievably proud of yourself in my opinion unbelievably proud so just my few cents on rankflation hope you have a great day take care